Welcome to Meat School. Today we are going to be butterflying a Cornish hen. So a Cornish hen is just a tiny chicken. It's a 28 day old chicken. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to get my Cornish hen prepped. Sometimes they put the giblets or the neck inside. Now I'm just going to see if there's any excess fat that I need to deal with. The very first cut, I'm going to go along the back of the spine of the Cornish hen. So I'm going to run my blade just along the spine of the Cornish hen. Now I'm going to use the face of the tip of my knife and I'm going to start gliding along the carcass bones. Now there are four points of opposition here that you're going to struggle with. And these are at the four ball and socket joints. These ball and socket joints take place where the femur bone reaches the hip bone and where the wing bone reaches uh, the shoulder. So what I've done here is I've kind of poked my knife into that ball and socket joint and then kind of poked around. I use my fingers to pry it open. Once I've got it open, then I can continue to try to go around the carcass bone. Okay, using my knife now, I am going to, uh, st I'm gonna start reaching the uh, breast plate. And so once I get to that breast plate, I'm gonna use my fingers to just kinda uh, remove the flesh in and around the breast plate. Once I've sufficiently moved enough of the flesh from the breast plate, then I'm gonna get started on the other side. And I'll basically be doing the exact same thing on the other side. So using the tip of the face of my knife, I'm gonna start going around these carcass bones. I'm gonna locate that first ball and socket joint. And then, well, in this case here, I'm probably gonna use the ball and socket joint at the wing first. There it is. Gone or successfully navigated around it. And now I'm gonna be going after the ball and socket joint at the hip. Feel free to go slowly where the first time you do this, it can be a little bit tricky, but take your time and in no time you'll be figuring it out. The, the carcass cavity isn't all that complicated. I find smaller birds um, can actually be a little bit harder. It's, it's usually easier to start off with a chicken, um, but teach his own. Once again, I'm using my fingers now to just loosen that flesh from around these bones. There's also some flesh stuck to where the wishbone would be up at the, the, the clavicle. And once I've removed enough of it, now I'm just gonna basically pull that breastplate out. I uh, use my knife a little bit to help me out there. Now it's out and voila, I have the breastplate taken out. I'm gonna cut off this excess skin that would be in around the neck. And here I just wanna go around and make sure that I have no major punctures in the skin and everything looks just about right. Okay, now this is optional. If you were gonna then go and barbecue this, I would say this chicken is done, but it's gonna be stuffed. So I'm gonna remove these femur bones from the thighs. So first I'm gonna glide my bone, my knife right along that femur bone, right on top of that femur bone. I'm gonna fully expose it. And then I'm gonna to try to get underneath it with my knife. Once I've loosened, or once I've removed the meat from in around the bone, now I'm gonna start going at the joint. And I'm gonna go in between that joint, so let's open it up, give it a little pop, and there you go. One femur is out. Now I'm gonna get started on the other femur. This I would generally do when I'm going to be tying up the Cornish hen uh, to, you know, to stuff it and truss it so it looks like a Cornish hen when it's roasting. Uh, but if I was barbecuing, I would actually leave this bone in. All right, going in between that joint again. Oftentimes I'll use the face of my knife to push the flesh away. You'll see me doing that with some of my knife skills. And there you have it. Now we have a butterfly Cornish hen. This is ready for the barbecue or ready for stuffing. Hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you found this helpful, and we'll see you in some of our other videos here at Meat School.